I have been talking for about 10 minutes and I forgot to hit record. Wonderful. Today's video is a little bit more random and a little bit uh, more out there. It's uh, actually just a uh, video upon request that I denied a long ass time ago by Rusty, our resident Discord shitter. So he wanted to do a bank vid, but I said no. But I'm going to do a bank vid, but not like showing off the shit I have. More just showing off how I keep things organized, how I keep things together. So my currency tab is, I uh, use the currency tab. You can buy them from the microtransaction that keeps all your currency in line. Only things I have extra in these slots are my splinters. You can put Prandus coins here, but they only stack to 5k. And you'll see later on why 5k is just not enough. Essences are in the Essence tab. I always upgrade them, always upgrade them to the max. You don't have to. I think it's actually better to keep them in Screaming or Shrieking because in, on average in League, it's actually more beneficial to craft them that way. But I only keep Deafing because I only go for pure T1 items. Flasks are here. Um, mostly not Legacy. Some of them are Legacy. Uh, as ears are perfect legacies, but a lot of them are pretty okay. Some roomies throughout the ages, like tier one legacy, or tier two legacy, they've changed a lot as time goes on. Some dying suns, some of these are perfect, some of these are not. Next tab is Surgeon's Flask tab. These are legacy. Surgeon mod now says you only have a 20% chance to gain a charge when you deal a crit, so just strictly better. Really good when the Blade Vortex meta was out. So stuff like this Surgeon's Topaz of Grounding. It's extremely expensive because it basically makes you have a permanent Surgeon's Flask and a permanent Shock Immunity. A lot less so because of Pathfinder and Raider being so good. Like a Quicksilver of Staunching is pretty good. The key tab is uh, pretty well kept. Mostly Breach Stones, Shaper Sets, a little extras, some Pale Court things there. There's the Blessings from the Breach Stones. Master Cartographer Sealed, only know what to do with that per se. Same with the Divine Vessel and the Val Breach. They just kind of sit there and just chillax. Good maps are T14s, pluses, some shape strands, mostly T15s. Guardian maps and Val Temples if I have any left over. These are just leftover divination cards from the uh, various divination card videos. Mostly the big live stream we did where we handed in every single div card set. So you can see there's no full stacks. They're all just uh, single tens pretty much. But some cards here are pretty expensive. There's a couple of Brittle Emperors. We have a uh, Celestial Chest of Cars, Dapper Prodigies, some good stuff. Corrupted Gems. These are all gems that are uh, 2020 or below, but corrupted. Some of them are 1920. Some of them have lost quality, but I keep them anyway in case I use them for a video. Two tabs of those. These are clean gems, meaning they're all 20 quality, but not corrupted or not level 20 yet. So 1920s, 1720s. These are just from old builds or old videos or old whatever, but they're all clean. So if I ever need them for a new build, I can always get them there. These are my gems from my leveling swap. So as time goes on, um, in leagues, I'll often play different builds and I'll have my weapon swap, you know, like you can do. You can put le like weapons in there and you can still level gems. So if I'm leveling like a bunch of blade falls and sometimes, I don't know, maybe the character dies at level 95, if you all can remember where that's from, I have all these leftover weapon swaps that are pretty close. So if there's ever a scenario where I'm just going to farm a bunch of maps, I'll just throw these bad boys on there and then I can uh, get them some nice levels. Because oftentimes I'm doing stuff like Adziri, Uber Adziri, uh, Breaches, you know, content where there's a big EXP buff, so these things level quite quickly. And then good gems, these are all 2120 or 2023 pretty much. Or there's uh, Empowers and Enhances. So yeah, that's what all the stuff here is, level 21 gems. It's like good gems, like they got good corruptions on them. There's a 220 Portal gem, level two Detonate Mines. Next off, we have boots. Uh, these are all just unique boots. Some of them are rare. If they're rare, they're gonna be really fucking good rares, pretty much. Uh, so multiple T1s. Some of them are like really, really, really good rares. Like these, I have a lot of boots like these that are like tri-res life movement speed that I had from League that are quite good. Plus one frenzy charge at Ziri steps. Plus one frenzy charge, can't be knocked back Calm's roots. Bunch of step of nerds. There's the four white at zero steps. Thank you, Muse. Just basically good corruptions. Perfect, perfect gold worms from Legacy League. Gloves, same scenario. Mostly just a what the fuck is that doing there? Gloves, the same scenario. Mostly good corruptions. Um, really just good gloves, strong gloves all around. A lot of T1s, a lot of perfect rolls. I've been whooped. Some old project gloves that I bought. Like I bought these for 20x, like fucking uh, two years ago because I was going to turn them into like kind of mirror tier gloves. They are 3T, 2 res, so I can make them 45 all res. Craft some prefixes, you know, slap on a Mastercraft, boom, you got yourself a pair of mirror gloves basically. Problem is unique glove slot is so strong because you have stuff like Malagaro, Shadow and Dust, Snake Bite, even Flush and Spirit, Repe it just there's a lot of good gloves so it's hard. Next off we have Helms, uh, a bunch of, mostly a lot of good Uber circlets with good enchants, about fucking seven gulls. <laughs> and uh, Crown of Eyes, Bring of Rain, this one's Legacy. Alt Art Fairgraves. This is a 5T1 Ursine Pelt I have. Actually 5T1. Shields and Quivers. Legacy Prism. Legacy Saffle. Another Legacy Saffle. Three Surrenders. There's the, the famed Shagreen Tower Shield. You may have seen that in stream. What a waste that is. Broken Faith from Chaos Warbands. Couple Rigwald Quilds. 
pretty good plus one arrow quiver someone gave me. Um, and a couple uh, 3T1 titaniums. Six link weapons, got a whole bunch of them. Doom Fletch Prisons, Legacy Reach of the Council, Disfavors. Six link bodies, same scenario. Nothing too crazy, I don't think it's in this tab. Uh, plus one Joffrey's Sanctity. Sanctuary is quite good. The colors are pretty weird though, but this is pretty expensive probably. 2030X. I don't think there's many out there. Might be the only one in the market, honestly. A couple pretty good Astral Plates from various leagues. Uh, this is a miscellaneous six links just to have. It ran out of room. There's seven six link shavs. All with okay implicits. Nothing too amazing. The nice Destiny leather. Extra calms ahead. Plus one tabby. Always keep a plus one tabby around. These are some white six links. Uh, these are just from various div cards you hand in. I don't really know what the fuck I'm going to do with them. Maybe I'll craft them one day, but here they are. Six sockets, so every time I have extra fuse, I'll toss them on these. Eventually, they'll all get uh, six length and then valid. One-handed. It's got a bunch of Varanustros, Legacy Supreme Truths. Some scourges, a bunch of good daggers and claws and stuff. Legacy Consumings. This was my insane Bladefall uh, Mines dagger I got. Thanks to Fatal during a... Oh, what league was that? Prophecy, maybe? Bunch of belts, legacy stuff, mostly trash, crystals, nothing too amazing here. This rustic's pretty good. Just some solid crafts, another good rustic. This was the plus one charge stutter we got. Fucking Parandus League, maybe? This thing was insane. Got some good offers on that. Another good alt art rustic I have. Crafted a while ago. Turned out pretty okay. Probably just gotta leave it as is. Just a random assortment of unique rings and good rings. If it's not unique or good, it won't be in there. Same thing for amulets. Um, Bunch of Bisco's collars, presents of Chula's, good stuff. I don't know if I still have it. There it is. This was the best, uh, probably still is the best coral amulet in the game. It's actually kind of fucking gross when you look at it. So I get to the vault. This is all the like stuff that I kind of keep or expensive or important to me. <laughs> There's the fucking Adziri gauntlets from um, live stream when we vowed them. Bunch of other really good stuff, like 61s. 5T1 items, mirror bases, bunch of 3T1 Val regalias, all this good jewelry and stuff. Alt arts and fishing rods and whatnot. There's the mantle just waiting to get crafted. There's the first wisdom scroll ever in the game. 300x first wisdom scroll 1.0. Can't prove me wrong. Can't prove otherwise. This is the pile of gear that's waiting to be annulment orbed. So they're all T1s basically aside from one roll. So in this case you just do suffixes can't be changed, annulment. Hope it knocks off the shitty evasion. Same with this, same with this, same with this. Three tabs of jewels. Pretty much all three to four proper uniques. Some red nightmares, forgot about those. I do four for crafting bases, rings, amulets, belts, helmets, hubrises, tit shields. Pile of Prandus coins. I don't know how many there are in here, but it's a lot. So it's over 100,000, 12 times 12. So that's 12 times 11. Yeah, it's over 100,000 coins. There you go. League stones, even though it's not in the game anymore, I'm still holding on to them. You never know, am I right? Uber lab keys, uh, some shaped mesas, and channel just in case you need like lower tier shape maps or whatever uh, unique maps i think there these are all of them in the game except for parandus mander mander only ones i'm missing are parandus manor and putrid cloister i think i think i have everything else here sack frags from midnights dusks noons dawns and mortal fragments and i have a little tab of breach items in case i have extras i have yeah, I run Breach pretty often, so I just get these extras that have nothing to do with them. Talismans, mostly tier 2s and 3s, in case I want to upgrade eventually. This is like the extra legacy shit when we did those like 100 reliquary keys. Mostly trash, but I don't know what to do with them, so I'm just going to leave them in the remove only quad tab. This is this this is the most important tab. This is the shit to sort tab, quad tab, that we had to buy during that divination card live stream when people kept giving me stuff. They gave me so much shit that uh, basically I had to buy a whole new tab just to store it to sort through it later. So when you guys, or if you guys, do give me shit on standard, this is where it goes and I spend hours sorting through it. So that's the whole bank video. just want to show you guys how I stay organized. I try to keep them relatively color-coded and try to keep them nice and clean and crisp. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little random shit. I met Letty. Have a good day, guys. Bye.